Okay, I'm here in uh, Beeston in Cheshire again. Yeah. I've not been for a while, so I thought I'll uh, I'll try a different area around here and uh, see what I can find. So I'll see you when I found something. Okay, my idea today is uh, I thought to head up and do near to the firm and see if there's anything around there. I'll sort of go around it around the other side. Let's see how we do that way. A bit of what? It's like another piece of lead. Yep, another piece of lead. And it's like a belt buckle. Well, it's a nice one compared to what people say. I don't really go for belt buckles like that, but I know a lot of people like them. So I'll keep hold of it. One. Okay. It's like a piece of well I was gonna say copper but Mr. Plates or something. This might be pretty small because it's uh, there's only a weak signal. There it is. Very small now. I'm not sure if that's I'll say a valve, but uh I don't know. Hmm. Don't know where that is. I don't know what that is, but it looks interesting. 
my god hmm very interesting it's got a it's got a cross on it Shining light on the on where it is. It's a bit there, 1664, I think it is. I'd say it's silver, definitely. I'd rather come away from the fan because the farmer's wife wasn't too keen on me being right near it which has done me a favour Excellent Another button. Yep. It's like a coin. It is a... I think it's a coin, isn't it? Nope, it's a button, but it's got a pattern on it. It's like a coin from nowhere. Got a nice pattern around it. Hmm. I don't know if it's a silver plate or not. Changed to my phone camera because my other camera's gone dead. And I think I've got a, a coin here. Yeah. It's a pennant. Uh, 
Found here, which I think is another tenet. Which is nineteen twenty eight. George V. Looking at nice condition when the fish come out to, to grind. What trouble is they dry up? Okay. Okay, this is the result of today. Been a bit of an interesting day. It's a day in Cheshire. First, I was moved on by uh, the farmer's wife. She didn't want me too near to the farm for some reason. And, uh, which did me a favour because they ended up with a good fan. Anyway, here's uh, just a few pieces of lead that I got. Then, bring this buckle. I'm not really one for buckles, but uh, some people like them. Uh, bring a few buttons. I actually thought this one was a coin for it. And if I saw it, which is a button, let's see, a couple of buttons I think, two coins with the same data, which is uh, 1928. What I've started doing now, you notice when you find uh, these, these like copper coins or bronze coins, uh, they seem to dry up and uh, you can't see as much detail on. So what I've started doing is pouring uh, a bit of uh, clay grease on and it keeps them sort of moist and keeps them in pretty good condition. Nice and smooth, and they don't dry out that way. And from a really good farm, I would suggest, uh, I would say it's uh, my best farm yet, is this. Actually dated 1666. Let's see if we can get that date there for you. Just a bit sick though. Let's go that way up, but uh, they have the date upside down. And that side. Yeah, it's supposed to be that way around. Now, if anyone's ever any information about this, uh, let me know. Because uh, what I found on the internet, I can't exactly find one with what looks exactly the same. But what I have found is somewhat, uh, I think they're actually called cob coins, which is known also as uh, pieces of eight, <coughs> which are pretty much the same, same sort of cross and initials. And on the other side, they have, uh, they have this sort of design, like a wavy bottom. And uh, there's, you have lines going up and lines coming across. And that's uh, that silver. That. So that's uh, pretty old. Three hundred and forty-seven years old. Sixteen sixty-six. So I was well chuffed when I found that. So 
like I said, if you, if you, if you know anything about uh, these, let me know, if you will. Because I can't find as much information on it as I can get. So, okay. And there we have it. That's what we have for today. Not a lot, but uh, a really good fan. So, I'm happy with that. I'm well happy with that, aren't you? Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.